the Federal Road Safety uh, Corps, so they don't tax transport operators. They make them listen well, well to coronavirus prevention guidelines uh, and sake of a federal government. Uh, now, so in take one time. And the Corp Marshal of the FRSC, Dr. Boboye Oyeyemi, during one session with the transport operators and transport unions, uh, some of them say make them abide strictly to the guidelines to help prevent escalate of the number of infected persons. Our top top person, Joseph Idong, gets this report. Following the federal government's faced easing of lockdown and restriction of movement within the country, the long-awaited need for Nigerians to commence movements of goods and services between states have never been more apt. To ensure the pandemic is not escalated, the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, said it has put in place measures to allow successful movement from state to state in a safe and secure manner. The Corps Marshal of the FRSC, Dr. Boboye Oyeyemi, while meeting with transport stakeholders and unions in Abuja, says guidelines aimed at ensuring safety is guaranteed has already been put in place to curb the spread of the virus. For us to ensure that the permission to travel across the state or the federation does not give room to recklessness, recklessness and undue neglect of health and safety measures, the Federal Road Safety Corps and the lead agency in road safety administration are traffic management as reasons reason to the challenge of playing a prime role in curbing the spread of the pandemic. This is because the expected rise in movement and the quest to regain the economic losses encountered by the transport operators during the lockdown era will lead to violation of health and safety standards, if not properly put in check. Dr. Oyeyemi urged the union to ensure they comply with all COVID-19 prevention guidelines. This awakening and the impurity of total compliance Speak volume of the urgency of this call and the need for all transport unions to pursue compromise and strictly comply with all guidelines as directed. Representatives of various transportation unions, while pledging their commitment to cooperate with the FRS, says it is in the interest of the public to do so. The guideline for the observing of distance, the social distance, I think is going to be a joint responsibility from the union the government and even the passengers of the vehicles. We are ready and prepared to, inshallah, abide by the uh, procedures. What we intend to do, as you have said, we shall intimate our state chairman immediately to liaise with your state counterpart with a view to ensure full compliance. They urged the federal government to provide stimulus package to help the public question the hardship the new guideline would have on the cost of transportation. The trade unions and operators will give you assurances and go back, since there is nothing on ground to guide them. I think the government should also come and say, okay, in addition to this guideline, these are the package that is set aside for the operators so that they will so that they will, they will benefit from it. If on the other side, there will be precaution or little training or workshop that will be organized by this office in conjunction with the trade union. Where some other precaution will be a, our, our members will attend because if there's somebody who are being infected, how do you handle it? Idong Joseph, Plus TV Africa.